Okay, this is the, this, the tail end of a really exceptional dream group. And um, this is December 19, 2021. And a few months ago, Maria uh, over in the Emirates um, worked for the dream. And um, for some reason, I asked her to lead the group the following week. And there was something magic happened in her doing her dream. dream the way she led the group was magic. There was a magic in it. And so I thought, well, let's try this again. And the next person who had a dream, I asked them to lead the following week. And so now we've fallen into this in a way. And I just want to make this very short video about this because we just did um, Li Rong's dream and she's gonna lead next week. But Loga is the one who led this group. Now he was a brand new leader. He's only been coming a few weeks. And he did, he, he did a better job than I, than I do when I lead a group. And um, I just want to say that this, um, what I think is the advantage of this system, I think we're the only ones in the whole world who are doing this, where the dream of one week is the leader the next week. It sort of blocks me out, but it's okay. Because I'm, you know, I'm, it's, the more important thing is to pass this on to other people. I feel that, um, well, Bill, it also changes the whole structure of the dream group. Tell me, tell me, say. Well, say. because you've, you know, it's no longer sort of top down. It's like flat. Exactly. Yeah? exactly. We're all, it's, it's equalized. We're all equal now. Exactly. Instead of, yeah. Exactly. And that's so it changes important. the whole dynamic. Yep. Just that one little change, the whole dynamic. And the thing is that, um, um, let me, let me read what I wrote. I wrote this about, can I read this? Is this too long? Is this, is this too long? Um, I, I wrote the dream, anyone's dream is in one sense, the property of that dreamer and that dreamer alone. In this sense, she is the only one who can determine the meaning or this, Anyway, this is this this is it. Anyway, I wrote this down and I think I grabbed the wrong piece of okay. Anyway, I don't have it. I have it written on some other piece of paper. I'm I'm creative, so I'm disorganized. Um this this what we're gonna I'd like to talk about with you and let you talk, especially let Lee Rong and, and Loga talk about, is this idea of the one who's the dreamer leading the group the next week, the advantages of this. And Arnie mentioned one. Li Rong, because you have to leave first, do you want to say anything? Because you're going to leave next yeah, week. I, I really enjoyed uh, the process of like rotating different leader each week. Because I, I like like how everyone like help each other out. And in the process, the other participants can also learn from 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 other people's leading because no matter it's with like what they do good with their own traits or what like people need to notice or take care more we can also uh absorb their experience in the same time yeah so i i, I think it's a really interesting method and i i'm really looking forward for uh, what I can learn from it more. Yes. Loka, do you want to say something? You're the one. To... Yes, I, I do. Uh, thank you. I gotta go. Bye, hey, everyone. Lirong, thank you, Lirong. We'll Bye. see you next week. And you're leaving. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. So uh, as, as Anu mentioned just now, uh, it's no longer like a top-down processing. It's, uh, it's a spread out where everyone is uh, is learning from each other. So that's learning and teaching at the same time. And after I did that dream in a, in a very elaborate fashion last week, I, I really gained, uh, with your uh, inspiration, I, I gained a lot of confidence. And I mean, I read that chapter. I have read it a few times in the past, but when I, um, I put it down into um, real practice, it was a lot of fun, actually. I, I it's fun. And, and of course, and I, um, theoretically, you, know, you, you did elaborate on why we do it this way and why each step is fundamental before moving on to the next step and why certain things in between is also fundamental to, to, to get it done. And, and after doing it, I feel 
like I've done it before. I, I just have this feeling like I've done it before and and uh, it, it really builds the confidence and and it's a lot of fun. It is fun. Thank you. You, you know, I want to say that the, what I thought, I wrote it somewhere, I, I, I can't find it, but this is my basic idea. When, when someone comes and they give a dream like Logan did last week and we, um, and we work with a dream and one of us sends maybe a delayed orchestration to him, in a way it's like he, he, uh, he needs help and we're giving help. You know, there's this idea, we're telling him this and that. But <laughs> in the, then in the next week when he leaves, like he did tonight, today, you see, this is not an individual who needs help. He's giving help. He's, he's as good as the leader, any leader, you know? And the thing is that way, it, it's level in a different way in that the, the, the illusion that we are helping out someone is gone. And the truth is everybody is helping each other out. And the leader, the one who does a dream may, may seem vulnerable or open but the next week, that one is leading the dream group. And that one is, is full of, like Loga today, full of confidence and, and uh, expertise. And it, it gives more chance for a person to be who they really are. I, that, that's what's my, what I, I think what I wanted to say. Does anyone else want to say anything? Yeah, I would like to say <laughs> that we can all be vulnerable in some, in some stages. In some moments of our night, we can show our vulnerabilities and then we gather these vulnerabilities and then we use other strengths that we have. So I really um, enjoyed today's dream because um, Logan, you were so, you know, you were so, um, from, so fluid from one stage over the other. Um, I have lead groups and sometimes I, I feel stuck. So I really appreciate your fluidity today. So I think that's, that's the beauty also of learning from others' experiences, not only from their vulnerabilities, but also from their strengths. So even sometimes I take notes <laughs> of, the, of the sentences that comes to mind. So. You know, vulnerability is a strength. There's a TED talk on this, but it's true. Vulnerability is a strength to be vulnerable. These people that are this, we talk about that patriarchy in this dream. These people, I'm a man, I'm strong. That, that, that's bullshit, really. That to be vulnerable, to be willing, to be able to, to fall in love or, or to be wrong, you know, that's a strength. Or to move in life, yes. Mm -hmm. To what? Or to move in life. I mean, yeah. if we cannot connect with that part of everybody, has vulnerable That's components. That's what you learn. Right? Yes. Look at the, look at just... the, when people make love. The, the woman is very vulnerable, but that's the point where the love is expressed and exchanged. And also, a thing about Loga is he's actually gifted in this kind of work. He has a gift, and he, he got hit down, as, as his dream says, in an unfair way. And uh, I, I personally, I. I think that may be the best thing that ever happened to him in a way. So sometimes it's the worst things that happen to us that turn out to be the best because they make us grow. It's like a sand and the oyster turns into the pearl. You know what I mean? Anyway, who wants to speak up for next? Zing? Well, what by having also by having different people run it, the, each, the quality is different. Everybody has their own way to do it. Everybody and and that's it. very, that, just like in the dream group, every, people have, they feel different things, they you know, see different metaphors. There's so many things that you, that you're exposed to and the flow or the different way that each of us runs, runs the dream group when we're the leader, it's just a little bit different each time. And there are different things that people can pick up on that they may feel work better than others, but it also allows for variability and variety and maybe even something new introduced for some reason coming out of doing this. So it's quite interesting. And your talk about vulnerability is very true. Just on a personal level, I remember where I worked, you know, there were people who I didn't have that much in common in terms of culture. You know, I came from a certain socioeconomic place and a certain culture and some of the people came from someplace else. But if we sat around and talked, what I found was 
that if I expose myself, then I could get, I could draw them out and we could connect. And it was a way to connect with people by showing my own vulnerabilities. So they didn't, so they wouldn't, there was, if I look at it now from outside, I see that if I exposed myself and showed my vulnerability, then they didn't have to be guarded because I already put them in this position of quote strength. So they would, they would, they would feel safe because I was the one that was exposed and then they would expose themselves. And it was really quite interesting, that process. I see you're shaking your head saying maybe you've experienced that too. But, definitely, definitely. You know, I mean, as a simple example, you know, I was a biochemist and, and the scientists in this place. And then there were the guys who were the mechanics, you know, who fixed things. And I could, and I would go and sit out, we'd have a smoking break and I'd go sit outside and I talked to the mechanics, you know, and there were these, you know, tough guys and all this crap. But if I sort of started to talk to them in a very open and, and vulnerable way, they just melted. You know, they just, they, you all of a sudden you saw this whole other side of them, who they really were. That's how you got to them, how they really were. Anyway, that's was a personal experience about this vulnerability stuff. Well, I think you opened up uh, the, the, the truth here, what you said in so many ways. I mean, this, this dream group in a way, this Omen dream group was a way, a way to be ourself in a, in a community with others. And that's that's what it is, and we grow together stronger. It's, it's like um, it's like um, we're all cooperating somehow. Anyway, but thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, even in even in this even in this dream, you see how important trust is, and that that very last little section there, where she demonstrated trust to Ricky, that's the same thing. When you expose yourself, you're trusting the other person to honor that. And not to come and attack you and you know stick the knife in, so you know it's another way to build up trust by doing that, because you know, in an implicit way, you're saying, okay, I trust you, so I'm going to say this about myself and give that to you, yeah. and it's not obvious, but it, that's what happens. And one of you said that one of the meanings of a dream was that the dream was telling her that she trusted herself. Yeah, I think that's important. Um, does anyone else want to speak up, Violet? Would you want to say something? You sing? Oh, let him sing first. Okay. Sing first. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. I think the new um, new rules about the dreamer, the next time would be the leader. It's um when you volunteer when when you uh, say, yes, I want to share my dream, in the same time, you know, next time you're gonna to lead the group. So you kind of prepare yourself. So when you be the dreamer, because you are in this role and you, you can learn from your, um, uh, the person who lead the dream and you, you can experience what is really safe place for a dreamer because you've been there. So next time when you be the leader, you know, some, like, you know how to provide a safe place for the dreamer and um, because because I think when you be the it's really a fresh memory when you be the dreamer and next time you'll be the leader mm -hmm. you will notice the really like a tiny things but it just um it just got the hint on you so next time when you be the leader you know um maybe some uh some of the uh, question you should ask or should not and, and you can sense um when we do the orchestra no the the playback, I think it's um, um, it it can help the leader to ask the question would point out something further um, for the dreamer, and I think it's a really nice um, the way to to process our dream group right now, and then I think the vulnerability the. I think the dream group is um, the place you can be uh, be vulnerable and to to show who you are um, in this group because uh, all those that the, the trust the relationship we have in this place it's um it's really um, it's really 
it's a treasure um, in nowadays society because um, when you know no one can, uh, no one would would hurt you or no one would uh, criticize you, then you can express the truly who you are. And I think it's the beginning of the healing. So I think this, this um, well, I really thank you that Bill, you hold this group and um, you always try to, um, like try to let more people know the dream group is a really a place uh, everyone can be participate. You don't have to need a skill like uh, professional skill as who you are. You always can help people. And, and when we participate together, we all grow stronger and, and you know, just close to who you who we are. Yeah, that's what my sharing. Thank you. Well, that's very beautiful, Zen, you know. The Romans have this thing with one stick, you can break the stick, but they put the sticks together in a bundle and you can't break it. And that's this group is like the yeah. stick together in a bundle. Mahatma Gandhi said that. <laughs> Gandhi said that too? Gandhi said that, yeah. If a stick, you can break it, but if you, uh, uh, if the sticks uh, stay as a bundle, you, you can't break a bundle. Okay. I mean, what's saddening, it's, it's kind of saddening to me to see uh, friends around me and, uh, that, uh, you know, they, they are got issues, but when I start to open up, it's like, I don't know what is complacency or they're, they're okay being in pain or okay being in, in a senseless kind of world, living in a senseless world. It's like, they, they want to know, but when I say we talk about the self, the understanding about your, the self, they, they kind of like, give me the impression they don't have time for that. <laughs> they want to understand about everything else. Why am I broke? Or why is it that a relationship is not working out and all that? I have this friend, uh, she has gone through three different marriages and failing and keep failing. And, but, and she's, uh, she's in this blame game all the time. And the more I get to know her, the more I, try, I, I begin to realize it's something that has to do with her attitude. Uh, because when I, when I, share some positive things with her she doesn't seem to be like practicing it so i told her why don't you just come for the dream group just once come by and be a guest and and see what's going on and uh, you know so uh, so like that so this this is what's happening uh, around me uh, so i think uh, there is a need for a dream group here that i can uh, share this and 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 people can get they, they can try to make sense of this. So like I say, they don't have time to understand their sense themselves, but they want to understand everybody else. <laughs> That's saddening. You can't understand everybody else until you understand yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, because you are the reflection of what happening around outside the world. So I, uh, I have to find the right folks for this. <laughs> it's not easy, it takes a while. It takes a while, yeah, yeah. Violet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, for my opinion, I think the pro the law change teach us different uh, viewpoint. And when you are a dreamer, you need to trust people, and you need to how to express yourself and explore yourself. Uh, and you are tech taker because. The members will help you clarify your dream, dream, and get close to your inner self. But when you are a participant, you need to learn how to support us, how to support the dreamer, and you are a giver. So I think no matter, no matter what which position you are, to be a giver or taker, you can learn a lot of things, and we all get benefit from the process. But the funny thing is that a dreamer is not a nice. taker because a dreamer, look at Li Rong's dream. She taught us, at least me, she teaches you so much. And everybody's like that when they do the dream. They teach you so much. The dream is giving, the dreamer is giving us. Some people in dream groups think of it like therapy. Oh, we're gonna help this dreamer out. It's the other way around. The dreamer, by opening up her deep, she has a treasure chest of her unconscious. She opens that up for us and shares it with us. I don't think she could call her a taker. She's a giver too. Mm. Yeah. 
Yes. But, I mean, when I uh, when I first the first time when I read your book, the first book, uh, what really struck me was when you said the uh, the participants take away sometimes take away more than the dreamer. So that made me kind of curious. Well, what can I learn? You know, and and that's why I wanted to come and see what what is it that I can learn from uh, from other people's dreams and my own dreams, and so on. Um, and uh, when I talk about my own dream last week, I, I something just uh, uh, it rang a bell in my head. When I um, I, I was running, I, I mentioned about running away from people and being alone, and I wanted to isolate myself and all that. And the biggest worry or the fear was that I was I was scared that I was being judged, and that's why I was running. I realized that. That I was running because I, I didn't want people to judge me. And I and the doctor, or the psychotherapist, for the first um, thing he said, but that that makes me feel better. Before I did any anything else, he said it's okay to make a mistake. You made a mistake. That's okay. Allow yourself to make a mistake. It sounded more like uh, just be yourself. It's uh, it, be vulnerable. It's okay to be vulnerable. And, and of course, that time it didn't make sense to me because I was angry at myself for making that mistake. But now. All the pieces the, is like coming together. So he was saying it in his way, but here in the dream group, we are saying it's okay to be vulnerable. It's just different language, and and um, uh, but it's the same thing. Well, you know, uh, in in school, all through school, I'm like, if I go to a chemistry exam, if I make a mistake, he crosses. The, they give you a red check, you know, you and you fail or this or that. But the point is, the way we learn is by making mistakes. So yeah. all these people, especially in Taiwan's education system, they're doing their best to get the highest grades and never make a mistake on a test or make a mistake with anything. The way you learn is by making mistakes. And um, exactly. That's, exactly. that's the way people learn, is by making mistakes. I, I make mistakes all the time. I, people call me out and they're right, you know? And so I learn. It, it, it's true what you say, you know, Loga. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, exactly. Because everything I learned, I mean, my from the way I grew up in Malaysia too. Malaysia in the um, in the eighties, nineties, and it was like that. Just like like in Taiwan, people students get scared to make mistakes because we used to get caned. We used to get caned. We were judged. We used to be uh, the teacher make us stand on the chair on the on the desks uh, because we made mistakes. So I I grew up in that kind of education system of uh, rot memorization and, and so on and so forth. And, and only after I ran away from home, <laughs> joined the Krishna movement and ran away, I was free. <laughs> I was free. I, I was like, okay, I pass all the school exams, but here in life I'm failing. But so I, at, in the initial stage, I was uh, judging, I was very upset at myself. Oh, I can't do this. I have to be perfect in what I do and so on. But then, but later on, as I, as I grew up to be a, uh, adulthood and, and reach my adulthood and I'm living in Taiwan and, and up the US and all that, I realized it was it was okay. I was comfortable uh, making mistakes in life and learning from that and learning, not being bitter, not being bitter. It's okay. It was okay. So yeah, yeah, it's true. The Japanese have this, this tradition, even if, if a piece of pottery is just absolutely perfect, they'll, they'll make a chip in it or something. And then the, the poor molten gold there and the gold will be in the crack. And the idea being is that to make a mistake is part of being perfect, you know? So, do yes. you want to say anything else? <laughs> no? Um, uh, I have to go. Um, okay, okay, so we should close. Zing, do you want to say anything else? We, oh, should we just leave? No, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to end this now, end our video. Now, wait, who's coming next week? Um, Maria? Yes. Yes. Uh, and, and Singh? Yes. And uh, Arnie? Yeah. Okay, great. And um, Loga? But, uh, can I email you like on Friday? Uh, maybe yeah. something comes up. I'm not sure uh, if I have something on next Sunday. So can I email you? Email me. me, me okay. uh, yeah. Uh, uh, a couple of a day before. And Violet? Yes, please. Okay. So I'll see everybody next week and I'm going to close the video now. Thank you very much. Okay. You guys are great. Bye. Thank you, Bill. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>